My name is Jessica Martin and I'm the head teacher of the youth program. I've been teaching with the youth program for the last three years. Back in 2012, a friend of mine, Shane Savage, shout out, said, come and check out this masterclass with uh, Howard Fine and David Corey teaching. And so I came along and was blown away by the work. It was the best training that I'd ever seen and so clear, so passionate, just made sense to me. So I auditioned for the full-time program straight away. The full-time program was one of the best years of my life. It made me grow so much as an actor and as a person. And I loved it. I kept doing masterclasses after that with Howard and with Marilyn McIntyre, David Corey, different teachers that would come out. And then I joined the faculty of the, of the studio. So the youth program is designed to be professional actor training for young people. The course is designed for people who are passionate about acting and who are considering or who already are professionals in the industry. Term one is introduction to technique, where we learn about Howard Fine's technique of actor training and look at the foundation of actor training. So we're looking at use of self, personalization, script analysis. Term two is application of technique to text work. So we're learning about script analysis, how to develop a character, how to analyze a scene, learning how to rehearse properly, we give the actors scenes from plays that they take on, learn how to do the backstory of a character, learn how to break down a script, and then work it each week. I'd say the main difference would be life experience. The difference in how I'm teaching is mostly to do with the content of the scripts that we're looking at. So, with the technique is essentially the same for adults and for younger people we're just looking at we're looking at different concepts that come up within the script work so you know staying away from adult material looking at stuff that you're going to immediately connect with i love teaching the youth classes i love that this particular program seems to draw in a group of people from around melbourne who are passionate about studying acting, who have taken it upon themselves to do the research, to find a technique that they want to try that might work for them and are willing to jump in with a group of people that they don't know because they have this drive to want to learn more. And it seems to be a really supportive environment for those people to, to explore. <laughs> Actor training is so beneficial in helping you understand yourself more, helping you have confidence and own who you are, different parts of yourself. Being a good actor is being an extremely empathetic person. Part of this training is learning the skills of empathy, which isn't often taught at school and it's an, such an important life skill to have, essential as an actor. So a lot of, a lot of, the work that we're essentially doing is empathy based. Who is this person? How do I connect? Where do I see myself in that person? And that is a incredible skill for any human to have. Everybody starts with no experience. Experience, you've got to start at zero and jump in and do little bit by little bit, little project by project. Try a lot of different things. That's how you gain experience and experience equals competence equals confidence. So if you wanna have confidence, you need to feel confident in what you're doing and that comes from experience. What I would say for anybody whose family may not be supportive or may not see the benefits straight up is do your research and show them that you've put in time and commitment into wanting to pursue this as a career. Show them the research that you've done. Show them that you have watched videos on technique, that you have researched different institutions 
and why this could be beneficial, not just to do with an acting career, but to do with your confidence, to do with your sense of self. Being able to public speak is important for any career or most careers that you would, may jump into. As part of the audition process, you are required to present monologues. What I would do is look for a monologue that you immediately connect with. When you read it, you connect with, you have a sense of, I know what this is about, I get this. I would look for something that's age appropriate as well and spend your time on how, how do I connect with this? How do I relate to this? If it's a monologue from a play, read the whole play, see what the context of the monologue is with the circumstances of the script and go into the audition and be willing to play and take on direction and shift. <laughs>